everyone, welcome back to Movement Mobility episode on MSP Fitness TV. Today we're going to be talking about the foam roller and what you can kind of do with the precious five minutes of your time prior to, to warming up for, for, for what training is today. Uh, I like the foam roller just simply for getting blood flowing, some kind of soft tissue work prior to anything, prior to kind of getting a sweat on, prior to doing any stretches, just to get you off of the, the, the desk, the car, whatever you were doing that day prior to training. So we're gonna start kind of uh, toe to head and I'm gonna open up with, uh, with a glute stretch. Just kind of a figure four sit here. Uh, I'm gonna isolate and think about just hanging around right around my rear pocket on this left leg. If I happen to find a place that's a little bit tender, there's nothing wrong with just kind of putting my weight on it, camping out for a couple of, of seconds. I like to uh, think about 10 reps or so rolling back and forth here, and you can play with going all the way down to where the hamstrings start, and then up into kind of where the low back begins. Once you hit those 10 reps, I like to roll into the hamstrings, quite literally, by just going back and forth, kind of seesawing here on the foam roller. Just like you did with the glute, play around with one that's tight. For a little bit of extra weight, you can cross the legs to put a little bit of extra pressure on certain parts of the hamstring. Find a place that's hot or tight, log it in the back of your mind. We're not gonna spend too much on it, maybe five or 10 rolls. Know that it's there for when you hit some specific mobility drills later on. Flipping around from the hamstrings, I'm gonna hop on the front of my quads. Probably one of the more brutal or, or least forgiving of the foam rolling drills. I'm just gonna kind of roll back and forth. This is like mom's rolling pin on sugar cookies as we go back and forth on the quads. Feel free to roll side to side, kind of going back and forth, just like you do with the hamstrings. Two legs can put a little bit of extra pressure. Also bending a leg, going into your, getting some of the abductors works great as well. After I hit up my quads, I'm gonna finish up last, but certainly not least, with my back. All in all, the back is just your canvas to kind of paint your own mobility art piece on. I'm gonna roll out low back to between the shoulder blades, just crossing arms across my chest, giving myself a nice big hug, rolling across from one side to the other, straight up and down. Anything is fair game here on the upper back and lower back as well. Last but certainly not least, I'm gonna anchor my hips down here Hands relaxed behind my head and just use that foam roller as a fulcrum to let my shoulder blades lower to the floor here. Just gonna open up T-spine a little bit here. You may hear some pops or some clicks. There's nothing wrong with that. Just kind of opening up those vertebrae for the day's training. After you move down inch by inch here, and open those up. We'll wrap up the five minute warm up on the foam roller. Real quick use of your time, very effective use of your time. Prior to your warm up, prior to your training, get yourself on a formula the next time you come in to train. Thanks for watching this video. We'll catch you guys next time in this movement mobility section. In the meantime, check out our YouTube channel, like and share our videos, and for more information, as always, mspfitness.com.